So today we're going to be building the Margo. This is an in-stock board from KBD Fans. Looks like this will start at $245. There are nine colors anodized. You have mocha, which is like a brown, black, silver, burgundy, dark purple, a gray. And then you have two e-coatings. So you have an e-coating white, an e-coating linen gray. And then you have a pre-order of polycarbonate, which is going to be like a clear PC. So a total of nine choices. And it comes with three plates, alu, FR4, and polycarbonate. And it looks like it is hot swap only. It's a really pretty board. As you can tell from the casing alone, this is going to be the same thing you see on the back of the keyboard. So you got this nice she shell with the waves. This is the box that it comes in. So I have the burgundy color. Whoa, pretty. It looks like they give you tools. So they give you the bag of accessories that basically has everything you need to assemble this assemble case. It uh, looks like the plate and stuff is going to be a separate box. Very nice packaging. So this box actually matches the back, if you can could tell. Whoa. And then here are the accessories. So they provided me switches. So these look like to be extra screws and standoffs for the PCB. Here you have the foams. This is like the silicon. And then here is the hot swap PCB. And then here is the FR4 plate. So it looks like I have the FR4 plate today. They used heat coloring of the brass to undergo a chemical reaction with oxygen, forming a thin layer of oxidized film. The back design is all going to be a little different. So each piece of brass hardware on the back is going to be different. So it looks like they did put some kind of coating. So instead of using glass beads to clean it, they use zircon sand. So as you can see, they have coated this already, but each piece of brass, so meaning this back weight that you can see, is going to be different. Really, really pretty board. This contrast is very cool because look, you got like the smooth, yet you see like the chaotic brass finish, but then there's three different textures. You see this one's smooth, but then you have this one where the weight is actually machined in. So it is like 3D. And then you see these have like the smooth lines. So not only do you have these like straight CNC's, but then you have this wavy one. And then it also creates like three different textures. All right, so you got like the smooth patina, and then here you have like the two CNC finishes right here. Also, the light catches it at different angles. So you can see right here, right here, right here for the waves. And then right here, the light all catches at this center point. And then the weight is just captures it all across. As you can see, it is a 65% with a blocker. This, you can actually see the back weight on the front case. You have these machined out from the alphas. And then they have these little holes. So these are for the stabilizers. So this is the USB port. So they have this cutout channel from here. These little holes are for I'm guessing the weight, the back weight. And then here you can see like the cutouts for the stabilizers. But if you look really closely, they actually have it cut out for the space bar too. It's like ever so slight. You can see there's a little blip right here. It's on this side too. This top bezel is going to be a lot thicker. These two sides are going to be thinner. And this one's not as thick as the top piece, but it's still thinner than the top, but not as thin as the side. It's a pretty simple side, but as you can see, the top case will encompass the bottom piece. So you don't actually see the bottom piece from the side. So here's the back side. So here, this is the brass piece. So this has all been treated. This weight, I think is one of the prettiest weights that I have seen. Each one of these are going to be unique. It actually does go in the case. So it is like, it's that 3D effect or the she shell. Pretty cool, right? The light catches each one of these at different angles. So in terms of like the screws, you have four on top, four on the bottom, so a total of eight. The weight is pretty much the entire back piece. And then you have the four rectangular feet right there. Here's the USB port. So it is going to be a left-hand USB port. This board does not use a JST cable starter board. And then here's the front lip. The side design matches the front lip. And then we'll look at the plate. So three plate options. You have ever for PC and Alu. So here is the ever for plate. So no flex cuts. You can see that there are standoffs for the hot swap. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's quite a bit of standoffs. Pretty standard. You can see the tabs right here. There's no solder PCB from what I saw on the page. All I've seen is hot swap. So here is a hot swap PCB. 
It is a fixed layout, right? So it has per key RGB, fixed bottom row. Can't split anything. You have to do full backspace. Looks like caps lock is only regular caps. Unfortunate. This is the KBD67 MK2 RGB V3. So it does have the physical reset button right here. And then right here, as you can see, it does not use a data board, it does use the USB. Let's open this case and we'll just like look inside of it. There are some drawbacks, like for example, the fixed layout, which might be a bummer for some people for sure. But overall, if you're really into like pretty back weights, this board does that. Although I know some people don't really care necessarily about the back weight due to like it being on the back. I could see this being like a nice showpiece keyboard. So here is a top piece. Here you can see the gasket positions. I forgot to mention, but this board does use silicon gasket mount. <laughs> three on the top, three on the bottom. And then here's the bottom case, pretty intricate. Whoa, so that's pretty neat. Check this out. So the shell itself is already CNC'd into this like bottom mid piece. Whoa! So this weight itself is just completely separate. Wow. So it does have the cutout, and then this is already going to be on the case like this. It's kind of cool. If you look at this one, it seems like more uniform, and then here it gets a little bit more chaotic. This is going to look different for each person. There's an ever so small, like, little lip. And this lip actually secures onto the mid or bottom piece. You would put it down like this. And then this bottom lip will lock onto the mid piece. It's like secured at this bottom. It does use a silicon gasket mount, meaning you have to use this silicon piece, right? So here is the silicon piece that you have to use for the gasket mounting. So it's not just gasket strips that you put on necessarily. It, this whole piece is what you use. Because when you see this, you're just like, oh, that's basically like the silicone plate foam. But this is actually what you would use for the mounting. So you have to use this. Yeah, you know what? I think 75 is still too hot. I like a good 74, 72. <laughs> I can do 75, but I'd rather like 72 or 74. Not 73. That's a weird number. I don't like that number. Sorry. Not to be like numberist or anything like that. There's just some numbers that I don't like. And 73 is one of them. Alright, so Dracula. I mean not Dracula, sorry. <laughs> Margo. So this is going to be an in-stock drop through KBD fans. There's gonna be nine colorways. This one I have is an anodized burgundy starting at $245. You can already buy this, but if you want the polycarbonate, you do have to pre-order. I do like all the color choices that they have gone with. So for this weight piece, you have like the smooth top, but then you have 
this like curve. It's really nice because you have three different styles here and the light hits it all at different angles. So here you can see the light will always like catch and hit it at this center focal point like that. But then depending on how you angle it, the waves will also catch it. So you can see like the contrast between right here, right here, right here, right here. So they've done a really good job of like doing that. I think it's really cool. So you can see it does have that like wave effect. This part itself is like the smooth finish. And even though it has been coated, apparently it will still change over time, but it is coated, it is treated. So you don't have to worry too much like, oh my God, my fingerprints will ruin it. It's just this back piece is I think where a lot of the beauty of the board is. An interesting thing about this board is that it uses a silicon gasket sheet. So sheet is the most important thing to pay attention to. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that. Here you see the gaskets and this is part of the plate silicon. Here you see the one, two, threes, and then you see the one, two, three. When you see this, you might think like, oh, that's where the gaskets go. No, these are actually just tabs to help you align the big gasket pieces. After you assemble the plate, the PCB switches, you put it here and then you just want to make sure that these silicon tabs like align in properly with the bottom piece so it shouldn't shift at all and then from here after you know like it's secure then you would put this over this and then screw it together so you don't have to worry about putting on the individual gaskets but unfortunately you don't have a choice of whether or not to use this or not like you have to use it there's like nowhere for the gaskets to go if they had made this piece like one solid piece to connect across, you could do it. But as of how this plate is designed, there's nowhere for the gaskets to like push against. You can't just say, okay, well, I don't want this. I'm just going to like cut this piece off of the gasket sheet and then call it a day. It won't work because there's like nowhere for it to like actually hold on to. But yeah, but that is the board. Overall, I'd say it's a very pretty board. It is like a functional statement piece, I'd say. I'd say the space bar is probably like the biggest drawback for me in terms of how it sounds. But I mean, if you don't care about sound, you mostly care about looks. It is a very stunning board. It was very straightforward to build. Like the fact that you don't have to like worry about placing the gaskets and already kind of does it for you is really nice. The anno on this, very consistent, very smooth. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a very pretty anno job and they actually mentioned that they use a different type of thing to like get this like anno done so that's like super pretty the alphas i think are pretty solid but the only drawbacks of this board is that number one fixed layout you have to use hot swap you can't choose whether or not to use plate foam or not the only thing you have is like do i use the case foam or not but i actually think the case foam isn't needed even if you do get a solder PCB, there's not really much of a point because the plate is different. So you can't use like a different plate. You might as well just use a hot swap. So yeah, very pretty board. In stock now, if you guys are interested. For me, it's more of a statement piece personally, but I think sound wise, it's, it's all right. <laughs> so if you're interested, you can buy this in stock now. However, if you're looking for the polycarbonate unit with the alloy plate that is currently on pre-order. Yeah, pretty solid board, I'd say. But yeah, that's the build. Thank you, KBD fans, for reaching out to me and asking me to build this. Neat.